Creeper Drone 651 here. Welcome back to another episode of Craftology. And as usual, I spawn into the world at night. This time with rain. Okay, now both rain and the nighttime should leave. Um, <clears throat> so basically, what I have planned for the first part of this video is quite simply put, um, making terrain changes over here we do have uh our archway i'm not sure why i built that but now that i've had some time to take a a step back from craftology i'm thinking we need some buildings on this side so for that to be able to come to fruition i'm going to have to delete this terrain so anyways time for a time lapse Progress report. Check this out. Managed to clear out pretty much half of the uh, the hill here, and yeah, this line here is where the the mountain used to be, and all this stone is what I've yet to replace with dirt, so it'll turn into grass. So yeah, still got a bit of work cut out for me, but in the end, it's gonna. It's going to look pretty nice, and a Creeper Cove will be expanded once more. And we have put down all the dirt, and we have no food anymore because we ran out during that whole grind. Do I have anything in here? Start taking damage if I don't get something soon. Ah, here we go. Let's get some melons. But yeah, that 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 wall there shows just how how time consuming this was. Not everything that was done was in that time lapse. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last piece of stone that we have to uh, that we have to mine and replace with dirt, and then we will officially officially be done boom okay we have just made a whole row of buildings possible and I am gonna have to move this guy uh, cuz he is in the way I wasn't expecting to, this to happen so soon um, but yeah let's go ahead and uh, patch this up 
cure people's OCD if that happens. Yeah, and during that uh, time lapse, we also managed to harvest so many resources. Um, not sure what to do with all of it. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, refine some of these resources, come back, and lay out the plots in scaffolding. Got the scaffolding. So, first things first. I'm actually going to make this path connect up to what's going on up there. <laughs> So as soon as that time lapse was over, Saints Rogue One decided to come over. He looked like he needed some help. He he asked for a lot of cobblestone because apparently he was building a wall over at his place. He asked me to help him build it. So of course, being the nice guy I am, I decided to head on over see what he was talking about. Apparently, he was building his wall. Uh, it was a pretty big wall. So, uh. <laughs> Let's be honest, it was going to take a bit of work. Um, but yeah, I decided to do this in exchange for like a peace treaty for or between Creeper Cove and whatever Saints Rogue One's place will be called in the future. Um, apparently, he created a uh, junk error in an attempt to collect all this cobblestone he needed. But apparently, it turned out we weren't actually going to work on it that day. So I headed back to... Um, Creeper Cove to resume work on my projects. We're back at the uh, the expansion. Um, we need to get all this stuff polished up so we can uh, use it as material for this here building. I plan for this to be like kind of the business district, but also like the commercial district, but also um the farm district. I want this to have like the automated farms uh, set up here, like have like sugarcane and other uh, automated farms here. Then over there, I will have like a gold farm maybe. But yeah, stuff like that. 
I'm not doing a time lapse, but I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so basically, what I have going is um, this is going to be the mob loot uh, shop. Basically, all the uh, materials from different kinds of mobs like spider eyes, string, uh, rotten flesh, and feathers, uh, raw beef, all that will be sold here. Um, I've been working on this gradient, and I'm not sure how it looks, but I do have plans to top this whole thing off with a spruce, uh, with a spruce, um, sloped roof. But I'm gonna have to work on the detail of the exterior, as well as adding some of the detail, um, like as you can see, this isn't isn't quite symmetrical, and I kind of want to have this sort of extruding feel all the way up. I kind of want this to resemble a mob spawner. Well, not exactly uh, a mob spawner itself, but like something that would look like it would be a, a mob spawner. Looks like a crayon. We have done a bit more work. Anyways, we have figured out what we're gonna do with the roof. We've done a little bit of siding, um, <laughs> I'll show you what we have inside. Um, not much has changed uh, on the first floor. It's pretty much the same. We do have lanterns now. Uh, I do think those add quite a great uh, effect. Uh, I believe here is going to be the storage room where we have all the different stuff. Probably for like hostile mobs. And the one above that will be for like passive mobs like cooked beef, cooked pork chop, stuff like that. And I think even further up, we're just gonna have stuff like string and spider eyes, just because it's like the attic. Um, I do plan on having a sort of a symbol on the front here, so it's not too plain looking. Um, definitely gonna have some outside decoration. Um, main reason I haven't been doing time lapse with this is because I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Fun fact, this kills you. So I spawned over there. I also noticed, um, there's something about this city part. Like, you can see there's a, uh, a major scale difference between the buildings here and the building right here. My plan is to get rid of this foliage, then sort of have it slope down scale into the, the rest of the city. Right here, I plan on having a waterfall type feature just coming out of this area and into sort of a pool of water. Uh, so I'm gonna actually get on that now.
guys, so what we have is we have our first decoration area of Creeper Cove. We have, as you can see, it has CC, here standing for Creeper Cove. I have some bamboo growing in the background. I might put string on top so it doesn't grow too much. Um, but eventually once that back uh, wall gets destroyed and we just have a simple wall there, I'll probably... Uh, do something with that but for now we have um we have made this area connect up i i moved this over as you can see i it was tired of it getting like it was in the the middle of the road so i had to move it um so yeah i have been breeding these guys up and oh no <laughs> Well, this isn't, this isn't good. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, there we go. I can go like this. Now, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna get this cow to breed. I think. I think I can. Is it gonna let me do that? Okay, there we go. Alright, geez, took it long enough. Anyways, what I like to do is, the reason I have that plank there is because I can pull the younglings out this way. And my intention is, once we have enough adult cows in this side, I'll just have... I'll just use those for cooking up and we'll just have we'll have this place be like the butcher's area and up here be where we sell it anyways we have uh, completed a lot in this episode it might not have looked like that much uh, but we really have um, so I'm actually gonna end it off here um, just so that I'll, <laughs> just so that we can actually export this video and get it uploaded to the YouTubes. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more buildings or more floating islands, don't forget to stick around, click that subscribe button, like if you like, and click that bell for notifications. And every time I upload a video, Yay! you'll know about it. And yeah, live stream on the weekends. Blessings to y'all, and peace out. Oh yeah these guys. Hello, puppers. Let me know what you want me to call them down in the comments.